So I will be showing you how to program a function, specifically the quadratic formula, into the Texas Instruments TI-83+. Plus. And so I have the camera ro rotated like this so you can get a closer view of the calculator and um, you can see what's going on. So we'll start by going to program, which is this button right here, and then we'll go to new, enter, second alpha to name it, and we're going to be doing the quadratic formula, so Q, U, A, D for quadratic formula, press enter, it'll bring us to this, I've already done this, so you can see these dashes here, but if you're doing this new, you'll just pop up with one dash, and the first step is to go to program again, go over to input, output, and go to you can either go to input or prompt, but prompt is better because when you're typing in the formula, you'll see A, B, and C. So you can actually know what you're typing in. So you go to prompt, and then you go to alpha A. So that will, um, when you open up the calculator and program, um, you can type in your A variable. And then you'll go to enter, program, input, output, prompt again. And then you'll go to alpha B. And enter, program. Input output prompt alpha C. So after we have our C variable in, we're going to start typing in the quadratic formula, which is parentheses negative B plus or minus. So we're going to go plus and we're going to put in two equations plus or minus the square root, oops, the square root of alpha B squared minus 4 alpha A alpha C and parentheses and parentheses divided by parentheses 2 alpha a parentheses and then we're going to put in another variable which will be our answer and so we're going to go to stow and then alpha d and that will be our first equation after we do that hit enter and then we're going to go to type in our negative b minus the square root so we're going to go parentheses negative alpha b minus the square root of alpha b squared minus 4 alpha a alpha c parentheses parentheses divided by parentheses 2 alpha a oops alpha a and then we're going to go to stow and create our fourth, fifth variable actually, and that'll go to alpha e. Okay, and then we get to go to enter, program, input, output, display, and that'll give you your answers at the end of your function when you pull up the function screen. So we're going to go to enter, display, and then we want answers d and e. So we're going to go to d, enter, program, input, output, display alpha e and that will give you your two answers at the end of the um, equation. So we're going to go to second quit and that will save it automatically. Okay so once we have the function programmed and we want to use it we can go to program execute and then we named it quad oops so we go enter and then it will say the name of the program enter a so say our problem is x squared minus 3x minus 18. This problem is easily, easily factored, but um, just to test it out, we can use an easy problem that we can figure out and we know it's the right answer. So we can figure out if we typed it in right. So a would be 1 because there's no co uh, coefficient of the x. Enter. What's b? b is negative 3. c? c is negative 18. Okay. And then if we hit enter, it'll plug all those variables in and we get 6 and negative 3. And just to test if we were right, we can use the quadratic formula or we can factor because this problem is factorable and we will get 6 and negative 3. And I wrote that out here just to show you that this formula does work.